Yo, shock drop is no longer a shock drop. Oh, what's going on with your YouTube? Jumpman Chris here. We're coming back at y'all with another video, guys. So we have some discussions we need to talk about because today's shock drop, or should I just say, it was an actual drop. You know, things are no longer a shock drop anymore. I don't know why Nike calls it shock drop and we even call it shock drops. It is no longer a shock drop because for the Air Jordan 11 Women's Neapolitan shock drop today around 2:30 Eastern time, but it was a draw. Not only was it a draw, it was a one-hour draw, 60 minutes, which I have never seen before. That is crazy to me. Maybe Nike knows that it wasn't gonna sell. That's probably what it was. Maybe Nike wants to sell pairs because they saw what happened with the reimagined Royals. They didn't sell out. Give people a chance to be like, hey, there's a shock drop entering if you guys can. I don't know. I did hear see a lot of W's. Matter of fact, I think most of the people that I did know did not go for them. Me personally, I did not go for them. I know they go on my size because it is a women's shoes. Women is, uh, it comes in women's sizing, but it only goes all the way up to a 12 W, which is a 10 and a half. So sorry for all the big feet people, but I personally passed because first of all, it was retail at 225. And not only that, Next month, we're gonna get the Gratitude Jordan 11s, and these will shock drop next. Believe that. Now, they did shock drop for the Air Jordan Neapolitan. It was about over two, it was almost 200,000 pairs on stock. A lot, a lot of pairs. Now, I'm not sure if they sold all of it, maybe only half. So, you guys already know these when these things do drop, which will be around November 11th coming up. So, I mean, if you guys really want these things, I don't think these things will be that big of a deal. I think these things will be super easy to get. They're not going for anything. Even right now as a shock drop, they're, I mean, they're actually going for under retail in some sizes. These are gonna hit outlets. These are going to hit outlets. <laughs> like, I just don't see these things doing anything. I'm not sure even the ladies like these things. I mean, it's so close to the Gratitude, AKA DMPs then you might as well just wait. It's a better shoe and it's a man's shoe and it's more of like, you know, nostalgia. It's just a better overall shoe. I mean, it's pretty close in color wise, except for this one has like a pink sole in a way, milky pink sole. I'm just gonna wait for these and that's what I'm doing. And there's no need for me to get two Jordan 11 all white with a little bit of a dark trim or the dark patent leather. It just doesn't make sense. So I pass personally, but if you guys want it, I mean, obviously, hey, great, man. You know, I think some people's gonna like them. Some people's not gonna not gonna like them so hey it's all good if you love them cool but me personally i'm just gonna pass i passed i didn't even go for them even with a one hour drop like seriously one hour i hope nike doesn't do this anymore like every time when they do a shock drop just keep it at a leo that's what is a point of a shock drop i mean you're already giving people a 15 minutes head start on notification let people know if they're on their phone they're ready to go get in it you're good to go if not then boxes here that we need to open up this was a shock drop w but before we do we need to talk about what's going on with the cherry 12s well i'll tell you what guys it's not looking too good i'll tell you that like it's i'm hearing shipping delays from some of these stores like jd sports because today should have been ea for the in stores what happened it didn't happen so i'll just let you guys know about that one but stay tuned we might get pre-order ea tomorrow on jd sports and also finish line whatever your station is uh, so just stay tuned for that if you guys really want these things the cherry 12s i love them my first shoe this is my nostalgia right here all right but if you guys really want these things you're gonna have to put a little bit of footwork to get these things because probably your jd sports is either gonna do one or two things it's either gonna be first come first serve or they might do the old school way, which is in-store raffles. If you guys didn't remember how it was with the reimagined threes when they first came out, late shipments and all that crap going on with the, you know, the, on the apps, you gotta do like a, a QR code. Whatever the store is gonna be end up doing, that's how you guys gonna do it. Uh, just call up your local area, see how they're gonna do it. I mean, it shouldn't be that difficult as long as you put a little bit of footwork in you should be fine to be able at least to pick up a pair at least your size hopefully i don't know it's just every time when it's like a og or a hype shoe they always seem to have some type of shipping delays even in 2023 it's really weird i don't know so we might actually see some l's on these things just saying i mean maybe this is part of their plan i don't know i don't, I, don't I hate to be the conspiracy person but it just always seems like a super gr that everybody wants to go go after 
somehow gets delayed. Like I said, we do have some unboxings. This is a retail W from Nike. A shock drop last week, just got it in. So happy about this one. So are they coming back with the purple box now? Or is this because it's technically, it's a quick strike, they call it. Anyways, this came in. I was able to get my size. It seemed pretty easy. This was the whole scratch and sniff on the apps. I feel like Nike, if you want to release like a very hype shoe, that's probably one of the best ways to do it. As long as they can just figure out the scratch and sniff or the scan the picture or something because it's always so glitchy. But I feel like it works so well because I've gotten W's on the Run the Jewels. I got a W on this. Even on the, the, the fishing dunks, all that. You know, every time they do a scratch and sniff. But the app always gets so daggone glitchy. It does. But anyways, here it is, guys. Got the Nike tag here in voila check them out check them out check them out these are a nike dunk high this is the christmas or this is the halloween theme that they got going on the candy corn if that's how you want to call it i mean they all right they cool a little out there not gonna lie i mean i feel like i they could have done a little better but it's not a bad shoe by any means I mean, you get the whole, or are they calling these a sweet tooth or something? Something like that, right? The candy corn sweet tooth, whatever they're gonna call it. This leather here, or is it new buck? It feels actually really, really nice. It's a good looking shoe, it's not bad. It's definitely some Halloween theme to it. You know, if you're, you know, happy Halloween for everyone out there. It does come with extra set of laces here. That's crazy. So why they give you two sets of orange? Like that doesn't make, okay. One orange that's laced up has the yellow tips. The other one has the orange tips. So maybe you don't like the orange tips. They give you, either way, they give you three color, three colors of the laces, if, whatever way you want to swap them. You know, it's cool. It's something decent. Hey, look at the teeth mark right here on the toe box. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. But I'm not gonna lie, man. Candy corn is actually probably one of the worst Halloween candy out there. When I was a kid, Anytime when someone gave me candy corn, I was kind of like, ugh, like, come on, that's gross. Nowadays, kids, man, they're getting real bougie. They're getting like full king size bars nowadays. I don't do all that, but fun size is all it is for me. <laughs> anyway, man, just quick little recap video, some information and some things to talk about, some, or even some shock drop unboxings, all that. So, hey, this weekend, Saturday on October 28th, Chicago at the Reserve Kicks, in the area this Saturday will be a grand opening and they're gonna have a tons of giveaways, retail prices on reimagines, even unreleased at retail, the rematch Royals, the Thunder Fours, all that good stuff, man. So guys, you don't wanna miss out. Make sure you guys pull up, guys. I'm gonna be in the building. Should be a good time, man. Always love to come back when it's Chicago. Anyway, guys, hey, I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. If you guys don't mind, please hit that thumbs up subscribe if it's your first time here comment down below and please hit that bell for all the notifications when i do drop vids and don't forget to follow me on my social media at german chris and ig sometimes on twitter and don't forget snapchat i'm also on tiktok anyway guys appreciate y'all love y'all i'm german chris Push.